We are here at Walt Disney World Boardwalk Resort. I am doing my contest winner drink with Ben. And Hi, I'm Jeffrey. And we don't know each other, and we're about to have a drink together. So this might suck. We are about to head into the Abra Kadab Bar, have a cocktail, maybe share an appetizer, and hopefully it doesn't get too terribly awkward between complete strangers meeting for the very first time. In forever. Look at this cute little corner that we snagged here at the Abracadab Bar. Super excited. We're going to take a peek at the menu and hopefully have something super enjoyable. These posters are with the little magician's hat and the magic wand. Although, we found out that when you flip them over, they're also the poster for the restaurant next door. So Jeff, fan Three. What? I don't go by Jeff, it's Jeff. Oh, I, I, I've been corrected. Uh, where are you from? Uh, so I was born in Arkansas, and then I lived in Germany for three years, Alaska for ten, and then I moved to Florida. Are you a military baby? Yes. I salute you. So I am here with the food Dunnett's Punch, which is Captain Morgan, orange juice, pineapple juice, and oh, seashore sweet, absolute citron, on well lemonade, and cotton candy simple syrup. Cheers. Cheers. Let's make these disappear. <laughs> so, Jeffrey, did you wear the uh, pride ears and pride shirt because I'm a homosexual? Exactly. I'm so proud. Um, actually, no, to be serious, I am proud of how much with your fan base. You're very open about how your family is. It's really inspiring to see. Oh, that's very sweet. I just decided that I am going to be 100% me and 100% me all the time. And for some reason, people came to that. Favorite Disney attraction? Big Thunder Mountain. All the way. Wow, the crowd of So not the Frozen thing? If you're still around 30 years from now, then we'll talk. If I'm still around 30 years from now, honey, I'm going to have a beach house, I'm going to have a Tesla, I'm going to have a second husband. <laughs> so when I was 27, I found out I had a rare heart condition called scimitar syndrome, where the a vein on the left side of my heart, instead of going to the left side of my heart, looped around my lungs, and it came into the right side of my heart. So you had a surgery to correct this? It did, it did. And how did that affect your outlook on life? Like, I realized I could have died that, that day. Like I actually was happy. And they made me realize, like, you don't know how long you're going to live. So get out there and do the things that you want to do. Well, our cocktails are finished. What did you think of your cocktail? It was good. I'm not sure there was alcohol on it. I swear there it was. But we just... are perhaps a bit tipsy after drinking here at the Abergan Dad Bar. And conversation is fun. And I'm just glad that I didn't end up in a street jacket. Or change like it is on the wall. I'm gonna have a second husband. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what? I just said thank you for not being one of those fans on the ground. Oh, on the ground. Not what I heard. What did you hear? <laughs> one of those fans on the Greyhound. I was like, what does that even mean? So I got fans to take the bus. 